Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to do the very basic download and installation of the Elgato Wave 1 microphone uh, with the accompanying Wave Link software. Why do you want this software? Well, to be honest, the software is 80% of the value of this microphone, in my personal opinion. It allows you to bring in Spotify and game audio and Microsoft Office and Chrome and any audio sources and pull them together in one digital mixer. And so this tutorial assumes that you already have the mic plugged in. You've already done the basic setup in Windows or Mac. I've got a tutorial video I've already released on that. And you are now having the foundation in place, hardware-wise and Windows and Mac-wise, to bring software in to control the microphone. If you haven't done those steps yet, please watch my pre previous tutorial videos, because this setup process may be jacked up if you don't do those previous steps. So, within your internet browser, wherever you are, go to Elgato Downloads. That's what I like to type in, and I hit enter, and it brings up the official Elgato.com slash downloads link. Click that. Be sure you don't click in ahead or something like that. Go to the official Elgato download page. Got it? So once you're here, you're going to select your product. Obviously, we're doing the Wave 1 microphone today, and you are going to select your operating system. Mac and Windows are available. Then below, you will see the Wavelink software and which devices it's compatible with. Wave 1, of course. Go ahead and click download. Then, the file should download relatively quick, it's less than 100 megabytes, and once the, download is, once the download has completed, then you are going to go to that file, wherever you downloaded it, you're going to click it, and you're going to go through the standard installation process here. Cool? Let me, let me minimize the website and make things a bit more simple. So, they are going to go through this wizard with you. I'm going to help you shortcut some of the steps here. Hit next. Obviously, read the entire agreement five times, then hit next. Uh, and then here's the next step. It says disconnect your device. Make sure it's unplugged during the tutorial. So you're going to do that. All right. So the previous step, I had you plug it in and do the basic Windows setup. It wants you to unplug during this step. I just unplugged. Let's hit next. Then you choose your install location. I recommend leaving the installation on your C drive. I've had instances where my computer has been confused having software like this on my secondary storage devices drives. Uh, so leave it on the C drive and go ahead and install the program. And so we'll go ahead and let the Wavelink install right now. All right, once the installation is complete, it'll ask you for you know permissions to do things depending on the platform. You have completed the wizard hit finish, great. So now the Wavelink software is installed. It should automatically pop it up on your screen. If it doesn't automatically pop up, then what you're going to do is search for the program, type in Wavelink there on your computer, and then you can find the program uh, either through your Finder on Mac or on Windows, and then manually open the program to go through this initial setup, okay? So it's saying connect your Wave device. What does that mean? Obviously, you're taking your USB-C cable, and you're plugging it into the back of your microphone. And once you do that, the uh, program will, boom, detect the device. And of course, you will see confirmation on the device that it is plugged in because you'll see the power ring around your device. And it will in, it should instantly detect. If it does not instantly detect, unplug and replug and maybe close and reopen the software. That has been a troubleshoot that worked for me in the past. Now that it detected the device, we are going to click the Activate New Device button. Once we do that, boom, it just works. <laughs> So it's that easy. Now you're in the Elgato Wavelink software and you can begin going through the basic setup process for your particular mic. Let me just give you a very basic intro to the software and then I've got many more advanced tutorials on it. So as you can see right up here, your microphone is automatically added as an input on the Wavelink mixer, okay? And so what you're going to do if you want to open the settings is do the drop down and the next thing that you're going to want to do is click update firmware. So if it's fresh out of the box, it may have been sitting in a warehouse somewhere and you want to update the firmware. And so what we're going to do is hit continue on that. And what it's doing while it's updating the firmware is your microphone should blink red and on your computer, it'll give you the notification. Do not unplug the device. And it's just plugging in some new firmware into your mic to make sure that 
It's savvy, it's ready to go, and it's gonna be compatible with everything Wavelink has to offer, Windows and Mac has to offer, and any other softwares that are out there. And this is just Elgato ensuring that their hardware will continue to be compatible with different operating systems and softwares moving forward. And so give it about, I don't know, 30, 45 seconds, and do not unplug your microphone while during this process. Uh, you could brick your microphone. Uh, in my experience, I've had people unplug during firmware updates and they bricked their device. That means it died, by the way. So don't do that. Just let it <laughs> let it update the firmware on its own. There you go. Update successful, hit OK. Great. Now that your firmware is updated, then we're going to go back into your microphone here in the Wavelink software, and we're going to go down to the settings. Notice how the firmware is now whatever the most recent version is. Great. So when you talk, a couple things you need to make sure that are happening, you're going to see bars popping right here for your mic and for your input. What you're going to want to do is get the mic in the right position for you, and then you can turn up the input gain until when you talk into the microphone, the input is getting here into the yellow, but it is not going into the red. So you wanna bump up your input gain until it's in the yellow and not into the red, generally speaking. Down here below in the headphone jack, if you are listening through the headphones, you're going to want to choose what you're listening to through your headphones. So if you slide the slider this way, you'll only be listening to the microphone and your own voice. If you put it in the middle, you'll be listening to a mix of the microphone and your own voice and the audio on the computer. And if you move it all the way over here to the right, then it will only be hitting your computer. You can also adjust your volume on the input gain um, by turning the knob on the mic physically. As you can see, I'm physically turning the knob on the mic to change that input gain there. That is also an option for you uh, with this particular vi device, which is really cool. And below, as far as audience uh, audio enhancements are concerned, I do recommend enabling enhanced low cut filter and leaving clip guard on. Those are the very basic features and very basic settings of this mic. I'm gonna go through all of that again later, of course, in a full-blown tutorial. But at this point, just to summarize, your mic is now hooked up, the firmware is now updated, you now have the Wavelink software installed, you have your basic settings in place and your volume in a fairly decent spot, and you are in good shape to now begin the process of plugging this into communications programs, OBS, Streamlabs, whatever you're going to do with the mic, to move forward. Thank you so much for watching. Link to this mic in the description below as well as the official accessories. And I've got a whole bunch more tutorials on all of the advanced features of this mic on the software side coming up next. So be sure to check those out. Thank you for watching.